Hello everyone, uh, my name is Bjorn Ulf and uh, I will not be your lecturer this semester mainly because uh, I'm not a teacher and you are not in class. So, yeah, uh, first and foremost I want to say that I'm not a native English speaker so I'm French so I really apologize if I make some uh, English mistakes and uh, yeah, I, I think that you all know that French are not very well known to be very good in English. But however, I will try to do my best, as you can see. A step forward. And uh, yeah, so um, I think that it will, everything will be okay. Should be okay, at least. So let's jump right in. So uh, let's create a file. So uh, in fact, uh, if you want to program in uh, C, you will have to use uh, three kind of tools. So I will write it down, three tools, and I will try to, okay, let's give me the time to remove the display of lines, okay. Uh, first, you will have to use the first tools, it's something called an operating system. Okay, so, um, very well, uh, if you want to use, uh, like I said, I will use Ubuntu, it's d it's a lin Linux distribution, okay? Okay, I'm talking to beginners, but uh, so I s I recommend you to use Ubuntu for programming, at least a Linux distribution, of course. Not necessarily Ubuntu, but everything is built in for program for programmers. So, so it's a good thing to know. Uh, here I will use uh, Ubuntu, but you can use, of course, uh, Windows or uh, Mac OS or BSD or whatever. Um, as long as you can uh, have the second element, that is a text editor. Here I will lose, use uh, gedit. It's uh, the tools, um, the tool I'm using right now. Uh, so it's a sim simple text editor. Uh, it's uh, for so it's uh, it's built in, in the GNOME uh, environment, and if you are on uh, Linux and if you uh, are on the K KDE, you can use Kate by default, or you can use uh, whichever you want. Okay, so why not write it down? So okay, so here I will use uh, gedit. Okay, if you are on Windows, you can use uh, Notepad, of course. Um, I recommend you to use uh, Notepad 2 or Notepad plus plus or another one. Uh, it's very important that your text editor is clear text. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, some editors that are not text editors. Let's let's take for example uh, Microsoft Office uh, Word. Word. It's um, it's not a text editor. Okay. So uh, you will have to use a simple program that can edit simple text files. Okay, so uh, here, oh, so I can put a notepad or a notepad, notepad two, oh, notepad plus plus. The two here can be downloaded on a Windows, so, or you can use on the Mac OS, uh, whatever you want. Um, and free, you will not to you have you will have to you will have to use. A C compiler, and uh, me, I will use GCC, and uh, it's built in Linux in uh, wi Windows. I think you will have to install it or something. So, uh, this is the free tools that you will have to use, and um, yeah, that's about it. You just need these free to program, and of course, some knowledge about C language. So, okay. I think I wasn't clear enough for that. So let's go. Let's start let's make our first program. So I created a folder on the desktop called C. I go in that folder, I will create a new or new file and I will call this file main.c. Um in um in Linux you don't have to use uh, extensions for the files .c it's not uh, you don't have to 
but you can and it's a good habit to have that way you can you can always see easily what kind of file you are dealing with okay so I will create a file named main.c and I will put in uh, let let me put a uh, number of lines bag it uh, yeah okay so uh, here I will type uh, the minimalist uh, code that you will have to know by heart um, I will not explain the content and um, this content actually because um, I will explain it to you later and you will understand why I haven't uh, explained it to you before because it will appear to you more clearly. So for now just uh, copy and paste this code or uh, learn it by heart. You will have to uh, put write it down often, very often. So uh, here you can see uh, two, d two brackets, an open bracket and a closed bracket. Uh, your uh, code, your program will always be between these two. Okay, so Let's so let's go. Uh, so uh, the first thing I want to to do is uh, print something on the screen. To do that, I am have to use uh, the printf command, and uh, you have to use it this way. You write printf, a per an open parenthesis, an open qu quotation mark, a close quotation mark, and a close parentheses and a semicolon and between the quotation marks you can put whatever you want here I will write down hello world with two exclamation marks okay um, there is uh, something here the semicolon at the end of the request is very important uh, each time you use a, com a command you have to put a semicolon at the end of the command. It's very important and that's very... Uh, you can forget it very easily. So don't forget this. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. The semicolon is very important at the end of a command. Each command have to have that at the end. Okay. So uh, at the end here uh, just after the two exclamation mark, I will put a special character, and this special character will uh, represent uh, a new line. This is a special character for a new line. Each time you use this one, this character, the backslash, you follow it by something, something, and this thing will represent a special thing. Here I will just talk about backslash and n and this will tell the program to print a new line to go on a new line. Okay so um, here I am the, on the desktop and I have a program here. Okay so I will uh, first I will open a terminal <laughs> This terminal uh, will use some uh, um, Linux command here, but very basic, very basic, very easy. So uh, let's go change directory to desktop. There is no desktop here, of course, my system is in French, so I have to go to bureau. Here I am on bureau. This is the French for desktop, sorry for that. And now I can move into the folder C. And here I am. I'm in the C folder. Okay. So let's go. Now here you can see I'm in this. This terminal is in the same location than this window. Okay. So here I will compile the file. F to compile, I will use GCC. Um, this is is the prompt is my prompt it's no part of the code okay the dollar okay so it's just gcc space the name of the file gcc main dot c i will compile it 
and here you will see that the GCC created a file a file named a.out and this file is what we called an executable so this file can be executed and this is the real program this file main.c is just a text file so let's launch this one to launch uh, an executable on uh, Linux it's dot slash so dot slash the name of the file dot slash a dot out and you can see hello world okay and the prompt is now here okay very well now I will remove this one the backslash n to see you that way you can see what what happened but of course uh, I want to say that yeah, there is two important things to remember when you do something with your text file first you want to save your file of course if you don't save this file the following will not change this is kind of obvious but there is something else it's time each time you modify the file you have to compile it again because this file will not change here I remove the back the backslash n and I will execute the file again but there is no change the backslash n is still here okay so we will have to compile the file again now this file has been replaced it's a new a dot out and that this time I can execute it and here you can see that the backslash n is out is no longer with us so yeah uh, in, in uh, Linux environment it's very easy because uh, you will not have to do both always do both because you can use the semicolon it will simply tell you compile the file then execute it so you will not with this line if you always use this line to compile and execute you will never forget one or the other so here you can see you can uh, keep always keep this code to do the job okay that's what I will do now so I will change it save let's go back in the terminal and launch this code and here you can see the change I've been done so this is an, uh, an important thing to know you can use GCC to change files for for instance I will do something else I will use GCC to to change the name of the file I don't want to have a file called a.out uh, I want to create a file a file named uh, main.x related to main C. okay so I will create a file so I will g use GCC so I will put, put an hyphen dash o space and I will put the name of the file I want main.x and the file related to it and now I can execute main.x I will remove manually this one added out I don't want it anymore in here you can see that a new file called main.x has been created and when it when during the execution it prints hello world okay so um, here we go so uh, you can uh, keep this line and use it over and over and over again uh, like I said uh, it can help you a lot so um, I think it's okay for this first video uh, I hope that this series will be quite long I will try to do uh, C and uh, of course I will divide it in uh, beginners and uh, in t uh, everything from beginners to expert and uh, after I will uh, sp try to do something about uh, C++ of course and uh, probably libraries for QT or uh, GTK 
Um, so we'll see. Uh, feel free to give me some comments and uh, tell me how you feel. And uh, yeah, I wish you a lot of luck and uh, be brave. And uh, <laughs> I hope that you will have uh, a lot of fun learning this. So uh, see you and uh, enjoy your evening, uh, your night or whatever. So bye.